All right, Patriots, dominant NFL team. I know that bothers a lot of people here in the heartland, but this is a dominant team. Setting up an unbelievable showdown in Indianapolis on Sunday. That is going to be, in my opinion, a midseason Super Bowl you know, game of the year. I know the Dallas game enjoyed similar height. Not like this. These are two offensive juggernauts. This should be a phenomenal game. All right, let's go high school football real quick, then I'll get to the college stuff. Valley of West Des Moines looks like a very, very tough out as his postseason gets underway on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to back the Tigers and Gary Swenson to take it all the way to the Dome. Whether they can beat their Eastern counterparts, we'll find out. But this team, despite the loss of Joe Johnson back, uh, of course he was suspended to start the year, then the injury early on. A uh, very nice quarterback, a very nice running back and cut comp. We'll see. If there's an upsetter, though, I'm going to throw out Ankeny. I think uh, Pizzetti's ball club could be very, very dangerous. They've got a post-season uh, pedigree and a very, very tough out, so look for that. All right, college football real quick. Iowa has done it yet again. They have another watershed game this time in Evanston, Illinois. On uh, Saturday, it's a pick em game. Why do I get the idea the Hawks are going to tease us here? Probably not like last week. They'll probably be ahead this week, and then Northwestern will come on late and upset them, and that would probably officially end the bowl situation. Oh, no, it won't either, because they can still go 6-6, six and six, get into a bowl. So uh, I like the Hawks, but uh, I have a feeling this is going to be topsy-turvy on Saturday. Sorry, one more. Uh, with, the, with the Hawks, yeah, thanks, Mark. He's left me a lot of topics to get to. Uh, Hawkeyes need to be 7-5 and five to get to a bowl. 6-6 six and six in all likelihood won't get them there uh, with the new rule that any 7-5 and five team must be picked before a 6-6 six six team. Uh, so it's going to be a tough, uh, tough road for the Hawkeyes. As far as the NFL, is pathetic, folks. I cannot watch the NFL. I found myself watching the Bills and the Jets. Why? Because it was the only close game. Two teams that have won one game all year long, uh, and here I am glued to it because it, at least it gave us something uh, to watch. I cannot watch the Patriots. In fact, you know, I found myself hoping that Tom Brady suffered a career-ending injury. Uh, maybe maybe that's a little bit harsh. How about his girlfriend, Giselle Bunchenkin, or however she pronounces her name? Uh, somebody releases a tape on the Internet. Let's, let's put a couple of midgets in it, uh, a 400-pound woman naked wearing a mask and carrying a whip, and maybe that gets to Brady and, and gets him off his game. Something has to be done. This team is just too good. It is taking all the intrigue out of the NFL. Speaking of no intrigue, that's MLB, and that's MLB in a big way. The last four years, the World Series has gone to combine 17 games. Three sweeps, one five-gamer. That, to me, is horrible baseball and doing nothing to create baseball fans uh, that may be in their uh, still learning about the game of baseball. Clones, big game this weekend against K-State, and let's bring on the high school playoffs. I can't wait. It's a great time of year despite the fact there's no more baseball.